figure what is religion. Religion is two things. Number one, it is faith, it is dogma, it is the words of God. Number two is practice, how we as human beings decide to interpret the words of the holy power, how we decide in practice, how we decide our lifestyles. We think this debate is not necessarily about the former. It's not about faith, about it being diluted, or it being not absolute. We think religion will has been and will always be about believing absolutely something, such as a higher power exists, such as Jesus Christ died for your sins. However, what we see is a change in practice. We think historically, practice of religion is what has caused trouble and turmoil in our society. We're referring to things like the crusade, we're referring to things like terrorist groups guising behind the shield of religion. We therefore, as the opening government, welcome the trend of individuals identifying themselves as moderates and hence behaving in a moderate way in cohesion to the social progression and modern society as we deem fit. No thank you. That's why we welcome things like the Pope's powerful statements towards the LGBT community being a part of the Catholic belief. That's why we absolutely support public debates and discussions on faith and social progression. Because we ultimately think the rise of moderate believers is what leads to the true, exemplified, good Christian and Muslim behavior, which is that sharing is caring and it's all about love. That's what we support in the modern world and we're happy to stand by that. What am I going to do for you today? I'm going to explain to you why on a principle level and in utility, this rise is something that we should welcome. No, thank you. And our second speaker is going to explain further on about how this it leads to a mechanism of change, positive change that we see in our society. So first things first. Principally, we welcome this because now religion is able to truly function in a productive manner that it deserves to be. Because ultimately, regardless of Catholics, Protestants, Muslims, Judaism, so on and so forth, it all boils down to you are an important person on this earth, a higher power loves you and wants, to, wants you to be prosperous. They want you to share the love towards your neighbors. They want you to include and accept your neighbors. Hence, when we have more moderates in our society, what we do is we see more support for religious organizations and foundations based on religions functioning better. That's why when we see World Vision, a non-government organization based in Protestant belief, now garners more support and more donations because religion no longer is a conflictious thing. That I don't have to be a Christian to support World Vision, but rather I support, based on Christianity, what they're doing in developing countries. Now I support religious organizations filling in the gaps that perhaps social welfare policies and the governments are not being able to do so. So hence the true idea of religion, which is about love and caring, is truly being able to be productive and beneficial in our society. So in principle, religion is getting better at its core base. But yes, MC. Can you give me an example of who is moderate and who is extremist? How can you define it? Extremists are people who blow themselves up in the name of God because they believe that that is religion. Man. Extremists is people who protest in front of abortion clinics saying that it's murder because that's the only way they interpret God's view on birth. Here, here. Moderates are people who are willing to compromise social progression and the religious faith that they have, but more on that later. But B, really it's about utility. So how has this rise in moderate belief bettered our society? We think on two levels but mainly concluding to the point of it being more inclusive and that being a social good. Number one, we think people who are originally marginalized by the religious community, the LGBT community, people of perhaps even different skin color, people perhaps who didn't particularly follow all dogmatic beliefs in practice, are now able to better themselves and be included in part of a group. So no longer do I have a conflicting identity of, wait, but I love people of my own gender, but I also love God. That divide in which allow people who still appreciated God and his or her belongings not, do not have to leave the church no longer. In other words, it's an inclusive community in which your faith is the only reason that you are belonging within this community. You are part of a group that supports you and ultimately loves you. We think that inclusion is an absolute and inherent social good because we see people bandwagoning together under a positive belief that their existence is important and they are a powerful individual that can do much great in our society. But the second group of people we believe really benefits from this trend is people like myself, people who are raised in Christian families but have unfortunately been introduced to this world of debate and it's struggle with what it is to be a good Christian and what it is to be a 21st century woman. We're referring to people like Mai who writes powerful blog posts about wearing the hijab and being a feminist. 
how that seems like a conflict that shouldn't be a conflict. These two identities shouldn't be a controversial clash that bothers me and hits me at the core. But rather, as a moderate Muslim, she can choose to practice her faith as well as believe in the much progression that we see in our society. Same with me. I no longer have to simply absentmindedly say abortion is bad or perhaps, you know, uh, anything that is really, that anybody who loves their own gender is somehow sinful. I can choose to adapt to the modern progression and say, look, if you're gay or if you're lesbian, if you're bisexual, I still love you as a person because that's what God taught me to do. Yeah. I no longer have to have an internal dilemma, an internal turmoil to the very existence of my being because we see a rise in moderates who understand that in practice, love is what it is, that religion is all about acceptance, yeah. that we no longer are shaking to the practices in which dogma is dominating the rhetoric because that's what it was in the olden days. No, thank you. Because in the olden days, faith was it. Practice was never discussed. But in 21st century, we see practice being discussed. Sure. We see people from various branches of church understanding and interpreting and practicing different ways of how they want to live as a good Christian and a good Muslim. And we celebrate that. We celebrate that because A, it's truly as religion should function and it hits the core of religion. But secondly, it truly allows individuals to be truly identifying themselves as an individual in this world. It doesn't allow people to be caught in the trap of, I have to support A and not B, but rather that I can embrace both of my identities and I can be happy truly as who I am. All in all, opening government's contribution is this. We are going, we told you already why religion becomes better because of these rise of moderates, because it now hits back to its original intent and purpose. But we also told you how it not only includes people who are originally marginalized, but it also embraces people who are struggling to accept their faith and practice moder moderately and modernly in this century. Therefore, we believe that we are the ones who are truly forwarding a positive belief in your society and because Jesus Christ is my superhero, we're happy to <laughs> All right, thank you very much. To begin the case of the opening opposition, we'd like to call upon the leader of the Those people of their own religious order. So I think those 
don't think that opposition has a burden in today's debate to defend those kind of people because they know they are not on the spectrum of religion that we ourselves are talking about to, to begin with. And therefore, we think that those kind of terrorists, as an, as an extension, are actually um, are actually a result of not religion or religious ideology, but rather of power and politics. And also, by extension, we think that those kind of conservative societies like Saudi Arabia own all those kind of societies that don't allow like women to drive or don't allow women to go outside without their husband's a husband's permission is also a struggle for power and also a struggle for social norms instead of uh, instead of a struggle on religion. No, thank you. Furthermore, third point is that we don't think that conservatives are necessarily intolerant. Just because conservatives don't conform to the social progression doesn't mean that you want to raise you want to wage jihad on all of those other people who are moderate or all of those other people who are of a different religion, who are of a different religion. We think that these people. Um, are, are although like more hardcore in their beliefs and what they should do can, doesn't necessarily mean that they will be intolerant yeah. and not accepting of anyone else. Yes. Do you or do you not support priests who go in public and say that the LGBT community should burn in hell? <coughs> we think that those kind of we think that um, those kind of beliefs, if that is not fitting towards the social progression, uh, <coughs> still should not be oppressed by this general norm that people should identify as modern. I'm going to explain that in my sentence. Number one, I'm going to tell you that although we do accept all kinds of form, all forms of people who I try to identify themselves on whatever kind of religion. So if people want to identify themselves as modern, then that's fine. But we don't. We think that the current trend is artificial. We think that the current trend, although we do, uh, we do concede to the idea that the world is becoming more secular. We do concede to the idea that there are more atheists out there. But we think that this current trend, this specific trend, is actually more reactive. It's a more form of self-preservation that is trying to get away, trying to escape their way or an over. Away from the current forms of dis discrimination because we believe that the liberal society is actually becoming more and more oppressive and more and more intolerant of those kind of um, those kind of religions that are more at the end of the spectrum even if they themselves haven't associated them ha haven't associated themselves with those kind of terrorist and extremist activities we think that it, no thank you we think that these kind of people who identify themselves are, are, are as moderates, they may or may not be moderates, but the reason why they are, I, they, more and more of them are identifying themselves as being so is <coughs> simply trying to alleviate the anger and suspicions of, for example, France, when they're murdering, uh, when they're mourning for their, their victims who died by the crazy truck driver. We think that that kind of trend itself is artificial. We think that this um, trend is actually the oh. one. Oh, thank you. We think that this, it, even if uh, this is artificial to begin with. Wait, I'm going to tell you now the problem of, um, of this trend. Um, we think that this kind of trend actually tries to vilify those at the end of the spectrum by caving into the narrative that all of those who are not moderate are simply terrorists or are simply hardcore conservatives who cannot be dealt with and who, can, who, who must be pushed out of the society by those uh, who pushed out of the society and uh, pushed out of the public discussion to begin with because all those people are irrational. Those people can be talked out of their own beliefs. We don't think that this should be the case of how religion religion and their practices should be changed. We think that by identifying a certain place on the spectrum that is good and that is absolutely superior to all other uh, places on the spectrum, we think that the most uh, and uh, um, and uh, like a kind of uh, religious practice that is most socially acceptable and most socially prevalent, all other people who would have no place to stand. And we think that this it's a, uh, this especially goes against the idea that religion should be inclusive towards all, right? Because just because you are more conservative than others doesn't mean that you should always change your belief and always and especially change your belief on the behalf or on behest of other people who may or may not have different practices from you, right? We think that if they should change, then we should change. We think that they should change. On, on their own reaction from other people, on their own ideas and on their own practices, but not us caving into this narrative that you, your kind of religion, your form of practice is wrong because it oppresses everyone else. And if you practice something else that is other than moderate religion, then you are a terrorist and you are an extre extremist and you belong with a group that is oppressing us all and is murdering everyone else. With murdering everyone else. We think that as moderates become more and more accepted, those within the other... Yes. Under your paradigm, if you leave status quo as it is, those people who are not voluntarily choosing to be moderate are going to remain in a status in where the oppression is still existent against those people who perceive them to be radical. No, we think that the society itself, the, the society itself is still more green, more socially progressive, is more yeah, secular, yeah. and there are more atheists. So just because you don't identify yourself as moderate, as society wants you to, doesn't mean that you're going to be oppressed, and doesn't mean that you're going to be remain in this cave of Tails POI, right? We don't think that that is the case. We think that there are um, there are social progression, there is moderate, and there are more of them happening. What we don't want is this kind of people, this group of people, 
as a whole, trying to um, trying to marginalize those other groups who who they themselves, us uh, us people of their own religion, trying to vilify them and saying that oh we are of your own religion, but we believe that this is the way that we should go, and them trying to lead the way of that religion by themselves in a unilateral way that cannot be discussed because now the social norm is that as long as you are on the end of the spectrum, as long as you are not in the moderate, you cannot have any say because you are intolerant. You don't have any. Uh, you don't have. You cannot conform to any uh, any of the social norms that we hold as valuable in today, and and therefore you don't have um, you don't have any kind of uh, motion for change or mechanism to discuss within the religion itself. We think that this is extremely harmful, <coughs> seeing as the moderates themselves are of the same religion, and therefore the, the um, like those people who are on the outside of that religion can also point fingers at them in, in a more easier way. We are extremely proud of them. Further, the case of the opening government, the government, the opening opposition comes up to the podium and actively rejects all sorts of bad things that are happening under the name of religion and excluding that from the debate. We told you from the get-go, our Prime Minister, that religion is also not only about your dogma and your beliefs, but it's the way that you actually decide to portray your beliefs yeah. out to society. Yes, maybe terrorist, terrorism is an extreme example, but we're giving you actual real-life examples, such as forcing you to send your gay kid to gay camps to try to reform this kid to not yeah. be gay. For example, going in front of abortion clinics and saying that you're killing someone, don't do that. Slut-shaming people just for the sake of having different sexual orientations, or different under Understandings or ideologies regarding who you are deep inside and your identity crisis that are happening These are all moderate examples that we can accept and on an extreme scale scale of course terrorism and violence is happening And it has happened and I'm telling you to cut this change this, this trend of extremism of violence of unacceptance of exclusion and segregation Moderate the narrative of moderates is actually the right way to go for religious okay. entities to live in this society because one thing opening opposition objects to acknowledge is that religion is